Right, this is my second linear motor, uh, powered by a AAA 1.5 volt battery. I've just had some uh, more reed switches coming from Electronic Goldmine, so it's allowed me to set this one up, which actually uses a cut down piece of a drill bit rather than a piece of ferrite. And I was just setting it up and uh, kind of created a, a full on jewel thief because there's the, there's the biasing magnet. Sorry about the dirty hands, I've been building this thing. But if I get this just right, There we go. Ah, the frame rate's wrong on the camera. That light, that LED is on all the time. And it's really very bright. Of course, like I say, the camera frame rate is out. You can hardly see the plunger move whatsoever. And there we go, a little bit, little bit out there then. But it's working as, as like a full on jewel thief. <laughs> it's quite bizarre. With no biasing magnet. There is the rest of that drill bit. Anyway, I've replaced the red LED with the white, and I've also put some Christmassy type of blue LEDs on the back there. So, uh, turn the light off. Let's see what it looks like. There we are. Now, to quickly explain how this works, the metals inside the reed switch are what are enabling the switching without the bias magnet. When the magnet, this magnet comes toward the reed switch, it powers on the circuit, which sends the plunger outward. Then, the reed switch is opened and there's no more power, but there's just enough of the attraction back from the magnet to the reed switch again, and off it goes like that. Now also because of the bifiller winding we're able to light these LEDs and because it's an LED on here this white one also stays on. If I use the biasing magnet we can actually change the speed a little as well. You can actually tune it somewhat with that magnet that's doing the biasing. Or of course <laughs> sometimes it carries on running. Okay, thanks very much for watching.